stuff. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow you can wake up. You don't have to go to that place. What's up? Shots out to Tampa, baby. What's going on with you? Y'all, y'all, you know what it is. Much love to Florida, man, in a hole. Miami, Tampa Bay, Florida, Fort Lauderdale. You already know. Pembroke Pines, all that good shit. Sugar Shane Mosley Jr. in the house. And uh, the Sugar Man, let me get that correct. Y'all call him the Sugar Man. You already know. Our interview will be up uh, very, very soon as well, too. Still waiting on Fanatics View and everything like that. Columbia, what's up, baby? What's going on? Cali by the on. You already know what it is. All right, man. So uh, yesterday we had a pretty good damn game between the Toronto uh, Raptors and the Celtics. We had a, a, a epic, epic, epic shot that occurred in that game, man. And I just was like, wow. And honestly, I thought the game was over. You know, Boston had did it had had a great play. They went ahead, you know, did uh, great assist, ended the game and one style. It looked like, and then you know, I thought we were just gonna go with the proverbs of you know, ball goes, throw the ball out, guy throws a shot up, he misses. No, but the, what happened yesterday was that it was a total lapse in defense by the um, Viva La Mexico. Um, it was a total lapse by the defense yesterday because pretty much the trailer didn't follow didn't follow the 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 loose man. They over there worried about Van Fleet and and Larry's the one taking out. So pretty much Larry throws a cross court pass that should have never ever got to OJ's hands and it did. And then boom, he hits a shot like he's in the gym all by himself. Man, oh my goodness! And then walked off like who got next? I'm telling you, what a game yesterday. That was a, a crazy finish. And once again, Boston covered. That shit's crazy. Boston is 7-0 and against the spread in the playoffs. 6-1 and overall. But, wow. You already know that was a great game. And then the Nuggets last night, they just showed that they just, the defense, the legs, they just wasn't there, man. They was just, man. They was just, they was just, you, bro, we always got the, uh, the YouTube, um, replay for you as well too so you know you guys already know you guys can catch the show all day long and this is just the live version of it but everybody does like to be a part of something live you know what i mean so it is what it is but yeah man it's friday it's a busy ass day for me we just got done with the other show and everything and i got to work on that today as well too because that's a pre-recorded show so you guys be ready for that one as well too that's going to be the nfl bet exchange and uh, it's going to be co-hosted by my man jeff dawson ecsi sports um if you guys ever heard of them but um yeah man because it, it, watching me live is different because you know we all get to talk we all get to do all that good stuff and you know um have some fun but all in all i'm gonna say this that you know the clippers looked really good last night but let's not get too 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 far ahead of ourselves thinking that they're going to just dominate the Nuggets like that. I still think the Nuggets are a better team than the Mavericks, and I think that last night their legs was just tired, and I felt like the NBA kind of did them a disservice by making them play a day after they just played a grueling Game 7. Same thing goes for the Rockets, but you know what? These is professional athletes, so they're supposed to step it up, right? So it is what it is, man. So let's go ahead and get into the bets, and I already put up and you guys scroll back up if you need to, but I put up the actual show topics uh, list per se, how we're going to do this. We're going to do WNBA first, we're going to do MLB, and then we're going to do the NBA. And then I know pretty much everybody's going to probably be straight off the horse racing. The horse racing comes last, okay? So up first, WNBA, we got the Mystics. They are in a really, really good game today. I feel like um, they actually might have a shot to win this game. Because the sky are are they hurting right now? Some of their best players are out right now, and some of their best players might not be coming back for the rest of the season as well too. So they're kind of in a panic mode a little bit. So pretty much, um, you don't like to bet on teams like that when they got an eight and a half point spread. You want to test them out real quick and see what the opposite side might be on tonight. And the Mystics played the Storm so well; they only lost by seven last time out. And we all know that the Storm are a bit better than this guy as well too. So I think that this works out 
in a in a sense to where the Mystics could be a big big number for you tonight because I, they coming in here I think plus two sixty as well too so you could get a number on them tonight as well too if you want to play money line but I just say play it safe with the Mystics the Mystics have kind of been a team that they have not been able to win the games that you think they would win but they can cover they're six and ten on um against the spread but they've actually covered their last three out of four games as well too so. I like them. I'm going to go ahead and take them plus eight with the Mystics. And then we got the Lynx and the Wings. The Lynx coming into the game 12 and five. And you got the Wings um, coming in six and 11 uh, tonight. So our six and 10, six and 11. But regardless of anything, the Wings are very middling. But both of these teams tend to go over. And it seems like the teams that tend to go over when they hook up, the game goes under. So pretty much you got the Lynx who have went over at least uh 10 times this season and um the wings have went over about nine but still i'm gonna go in reverse with the strategy i'm gonna take the under 165 and we move on from there it's it is what it is under 165 links wings and we move on and then we have the storm and the sparks in the game of the day in the WNBA. they are giving the sparks plus six and a half uh today as well and then when you start thinking about how much the storm have been struggling. It makes you start to really think like, hey, this might be my number tonight. And the Sparks are one of the top teams in the league. So I think that they're actually kind of giving way too much credit to the storm. A team that's been having issues with the bottom feeders, teams that have won two games and three games and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, you step up to where your competition's at. But the Sparks aren't that type of team. The Sparks are going to go right at your throat. And if you show weakness early, they're going to jump all over it. And that's what I'm saying is that if the Storm slip up, then the Sparks got a big shot of winning this game. But I definitely know that this game is going to go over because the Sparks have been scoring at least uh, 79, 80 points per game in their last five or so. So pretty much um, let's go ahead and see how it shakes out. And let's get that over uh, 160 with the Storm and the Sparks. Single what you like. We 6-1 to one on the parlay if you want to play it. But, you know, the singles work out very well, as, very well too. And actually, we're 5-1 um, and one over the last two days in the WNBA as well, too. After, you know, going after being shut out. Uh, so it's all good. Um, we move on. And we have the MLB Primetime Pick 6. Man, I'm telling you. Small risk, big reward. This one is a good one right here, too. You put 20 on it, get 980 back. You add the 20 back into there, it's a thousand bucks on. So that's a 980 uh, plus profit right there. Boy, I'm telling you. Or you get a 40, uh, 490 plus profit off the 10 bucks. Man, you can even make some money off the five off this one as well, too. But that's if you parlay because these are for singles, uh, too. But I always throw it in a parlay form so you guys understand that, hey, if you're not one of those big gamblers, but you want to get a big, big reward and give it a shot. Boom. I got better odds than a lot of y'all go and scratch on scratchers all day long, hoping to get 20 bucks. Come on, man. If you hit this one right here, you'll at least get a uh, 100 bucks if you put up a two dollar bet. I don't know what book is taking a two dollar bet. I know Silver Sevens in Vegas has, but I know which call. I don't know about the offshores. And don't worry, it wasn't me. It was a guy I did know though. Which call? So it's crazy. It when living in Vegas, you you will start to catch some things during the week, man. And I'm telling you, everybody who lives out there, they there's a lot. There's 60, 70 percent of people are struggling, bro. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. Uh, if you out of if they out of town and. You know them and everything, and they showed you all these pretty pictures with them with sunglasses on. They struggling, bruh. Struggling. It's hard. And then, so, up first, we got the Rays. Money line, minus 130. And um, the Rays look good today, man. And the Rays have owned the um, National League at home as well, too, this season. I think this is a strong, strong, strong bet. So, you might want to make it your uh, bottom out. Hey, you know what? I, I need one to take home. The Rays might be that team for you today. So I got the Rays circled up at minus 130. Then we got the Pirates in game two. Pirates are heavy favorites in both games today, but I'm going to take them in game two against Trevor Bauer. I think that the better the pitcher, the better they play. And I think that's what's going to happen here. They don't need to win. They just need to keep the game within a run. So they got two of them today with the uh, Reds. So hopefully this will be the one that where they play it close, either win or just lose by one. That's all we need you to do. Plus one and 
going to have game two on the Pirates. And then we got the Red Sox and the Jays. And the Red Sox let us down. It was 2-2 going into the extra innings. Then they gave up three runs. And as usual, the Red Sox lose. This has just been an absolute headache with this team. I swear, dude. The Red Sox, and I know... Uh, don't act like I know pretty much act like you, you do know that the Red Sox were going to suck from day one. And I even had them going under anyway. So pretty much it is what it is. You got to just deal with it. And uh, the Red Sox, you know, you're trying to catch them. You're trying to catch them being sneaky. And they didn't want to be sneaky last night. They they just folded. So over eight and a half Red Sox Jays. I think that we're going to go ahead and cast this bad boy out. I feel like there's going to be some big hitting going on today. They got Malone on the mound for uh, the Jays. They just got the kid, so we'll see how it goes, man. But I think that we will get ourselves a good over here. Game two, Red Sox, Jay. So remember, that's game two, y'all. Then we got the Indians today. The Indians going against the Brewers, who have been having their issues against the uh, American League, especially in open ga opening games as well, too. I just think that trend will continue. And the Indians should be a good for the uh, – for the winning more by two winning by more than two runs today and honestly they're getting plus 140 they're giving you great value on them today as well too let's go ahead and cash that ticket get that money man i feel like they just handing out charity with that bad boy so let's go ahead and get it and then we got the braves money line game two and i told you guys the trend with the braves the braves are almost automatic at home as a favorite and uh they've won a lot of games so pretty much um as the favorite. So I like him when I see him as the favorite. And I know they've lost some games as a favorite as well, too. It is, you're not going to be perfect, but they their percentage is very high. It's well over 50%. It's about in the 60-70% range. So pretty much let's go ahead and get it. Braves money line minus 160 game two. All right, so we move on, and we got the White Sox and the Royals. Yesterday, we went with the under nine, with I mean the over nine with the uh, nine and a half with the White Sox and Royals. Today, we go in reverse. We say, okay, they're going to get some pitching today, and everybody's going to kind of slow it down a little bit, and we'll get ourselves under nine with the White Sox and the Royals, and we'll move on from there. So pretty much under nine, White Sox, Royals today, 49 to one on that ticket. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it shakes out. And man, oh man, 49 to one let's get it home man but single what you like all right because these are all singles but if you put them all together it's 49 to one all right so here it is we got the mlb dog pick four and this one is going to be for 35 to one and i'll go ahead and i'll get that correct correct number up there in a moment but um, last time I looked at it, it was 35 to one. I forgot to put it in cause I was rushing to get this show started. So we got the dog pick for today. We're going to go with the Nats in game one today. Um, I like the matchup better for them in game one. I think that they should come through, take care of their business. You know, we got Austin Vath on the mound. So, you know, we're going to get some hitting going on today and everything like that. But there it is. Nats, uh, game one plus 145. Then we move on, and we got the Phillies, and we got Jake Arrieta on the mound, and going to get some Mets tonight. I like Jake Arrieta always. I really do like this pitcher, and I think that he's going to go up in there and uh, make some noise tonight, man. And, you know, I remember him getting paid years ago as well, too. So I know the 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 fun of him has worn off, but still, I think Jake Arrieta is still one of the better pitchers in the league, and I think he gets us a good, good win today. So there it is, uh, plus 110 on the Phillies, and then we got the Cardinals, uh, plus 130 uh, today. They're in a pretty good matchup with the Cubs, and you know they've had the Cubs uh, number for the last uh, for this season and a little bit of last season as well, too. So I like the Cards today, plus 130. The Cubs arch rival, so let's go ahead and get it and get that money, man. So there it is, uh, plus 130, uh, Cards money line. Then we got the Rockies as the big dog today. So we're going to make them the dog of the day. I, and I know I'm kind of gulping when I say we're going to make them the big dog of the day because it's going to be a tough one. They're playing against the Dodgers. The Dodgers absolutely wrecked the Diamondbacks this week. They got a nice sweep over them this week. You know, made it look really, really easy. And today they go against the Rockies, who are in their last chance, last-ditch effort to really stay afloat in the division. So, really, they, they have a – 
nothing to lose attitude, in my opinion. And the Dodgers kind of just have a chill attitude. Like, they're so far ahead. Like, seriously, they could be in the playoffs right now. Like, if we start the playoffs, dude, the Dodgers are, are in. If the Dodgers were to lose their last 15 games or so of the season or lose 15 out of 20 or something, they would still be in contention to or still be able to win the West. It's that significant you know what i mean they're that good of a team and the west is that middling of a uh division even though you got the uh padres out there absolutely slaying teams right now so there it is 35 to 1 but i'll get the correct number for you but that's what i had seen before and i thought i had put it down so pretty much sorry about that but this is a big hit of parlay for a four teamer and we move on to the nba so get your butts up in here and sit on down because i know this is what y'all been waiting for all right so we are here nba playoff bets for the day and you know what I'm going to have to do it. I was I I like the Heat a little bit more than the Bucks here. But we got to be realistic. We got to understand how the NBA works and they're not going to just let they one seed just walk up in there and get swept. And why did it end? Sorry. It's not Heat, it's Heat. Man, I'm telling you. Slap yourself twice, Pop. Which got so three and a half with the Bucks first half. I think they're up for to stick cuz they got cuz see the thing is we put you to the test with this bet today. We saying that you need to start off fast, Milwaukee, and you capable of doing it. Now, can you do it? That's the that's the main question right there. Miami's been hot the last two games. I don't think that they can bring that over to game three because you got to understand these games are every other day and the Bucks needed a reality check. They got to stop coasting. They got to stop being reckless and Giannis got to stop being a one move player. Seriously, because let's keep it real. It seems like he only got one move. The handles ain't that great. And then when he's passing the ball, like he's literally trying to no look every time he passes the ball as well, too. How is that MVP worth? Ah, man, I don't know. But it is what it is. That's how the new NBA is, and that's how they judge players. Somebody explained to me the what the the worth of a Giannis. Giannis is great on defense, but you know there's so many guys that are so much better than him offensively in the league. Let's keep it real, no cap. Um, so we got minus three and a half first half on the Bucks, and then I think what happens today is the Heat shoot poorly. They can't keep this type of uh, momentum up on shooting like that. But I think the Bucks are going to really be in their chest and actually put the hand up today. So I'm taking the under 223 Bucks heat. Let's get it. Then we got the Lakers. Um, this one, you know, you know, you know, I write an article on the Lakers each playoff game. You know, I, I've already said the Lakers my favorite team of all time. But you know what? I never like to bet with my heart or anything like that. But if I'm for sure. I will throw the Lakers in there, or I will throw the opposite side in there as well, too. And the reason why I'm taking the Rockets first half, I think that they're going to come out and um, make the uh, Lakers work a little bit. The Lakers being off literally the whole week is going to be kind of a, a, a kind of be – it's gonna kind of affect them a little bit because now they 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 settled down after having all the 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 uh, stoppages and everything like that to address some things and now and it gave the Lakers some days to kind of relax a little bit but then they're still over there having to play superheroes for things and all that stuff so pretty much I don't know where they're if their focus is a hundred percent back yet. And, you know, pretty much the Rockets are in that mode where they've been playing. So the Rockets, I know how Harden is going to approach this. He's really going to try to cut the Lakers off top. So pretty much that's why I'm going plus four with the Rockets. I'm not saying they win the game, but I'm just going to say that the Lakers are going to be in for a challenge early in this game because they got it. They because they start so slowly when they get when they have time off. And that's just just facts. And you guys can look at the Lakers every time they take three, four days off. They start super slow in the game. But the over 226. That's going to happen because the Rockets are going to substitute defense for more offense because you, the Lakers are going to let them shoot those threes. I'm going to be dead honest with you. And they'll figure out. And if they pop them off tonight, like I got a feeling that they may be doing, then this is definitely going over 226. So let's see how it shakes out. I think this is going to be a strong bet. And, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys that I ain't no homer. The Lakers look like they the Lakers look kind of vulnerable tonight. And I'm going to keep it real. And you know what? The Lakers, Lakers, what they got to do is they got to keep 
the pressure on. They got to have Brian play like he did the last three games against the Blazers. And they got to have AD be AD. If AD doesn't step it up, the Lakers ain't winning the night. AD steps it up all the time, but if AD doesn't get past his 30 or gets his 25, 15 rebound, 10, 15 rebounds, and LeBron doesn't and LeBron can't chip in his his 25, 30, then the Lakers might have issues tonight. And that's a possibility of happening as well, too, because they've been chilling. So there it is. That's the NBA for today. Single what you like, and we move on to the final segment, and that's gonna be Del Mar primetime bets. And it is officially the final weekend at Del Mar. Um, I got confused because Larry Comis, the announcer, said that it was his last weekend. It wasn't the tracks last weekend, um, and because he, he's doing the Kentucky Derby, and I will have Kentucky Derby bets for you guys tomorrow as well, too. So if you are going to be betting the Kentucky Derby, we will have that for you, and so be ready for it. It's going to be fun, and, um, you know, pretty much we're going to have Derby, and we're going to have Delmar primetime bets for you still. So be ready for that, and uh, let me go, go on and get you guys these uh, bets real quick so I can get on down the road. It's a busy, busy day for your boy. All right, so Delmar primetime bets, late pick four, race five. We got the first timer here in the maiden special weight. This isn't a maiden uh, claimer. It is a maiden special weight, $55,000, uh, five furlongs on the turf, and we're going to go with a horse by the name of Refi Dude. This is his first time out, and this horse is looking pretty good. I think that this horse is going to be um, in the mix and will be a good price and everything like that. So when we key them up, sometimes they don't have to win to still pay more than the winner, okay? So pretty much... I like Refi Dude today. We're going to pair Refi Dude with the 6, 8, and 3. You box it 3, 6, 8, 9, or you can go ahead and key it 9, 3, 6, 8. There it goes. You move, we move on. Race 5. I'm smoking stakes. And I'm smoking stakes. We're going to go ahead and take positivity. This is going to be the 4 horse. And we're going to pair this horse with the 7, the 5, and the 3. And we can go ahead and box it up like this 3, 4, 5, 7. Or you guys can key it 3, five seven okay trade five seven you already know what it is <laughs> all right so there it is with that and then we got the final uh final of the night and um this is actually um a maiden claimer sorry i wasn't able to switch it because i was getting trying to get to you guys as fast as possible because there's a lot of things going on today and i know this is the second time of me saying that so pretty much race nine today the nightcap is going to be the um Keyworth is going to be cover version. We're going to get the uh, two time, three time uh, Kentucky winning, uh, Kentucky Derby winning jockey on that horse, Victor Espinosa. You guys might remember him from riding on California Chrome and just and California Chrome and American Pharaoh. So he didn't ride Justify. Justify was ridden by Mike Smith. So pretty much. Um, here we are. Uh, we are here. Races six through nine, not races uh, four through seven. We're going to go ahead and take leg one today. It's going to be one, two, four, seven in that spot. Then we're going to go one, five, six, seven in leg two. Then we're going to go three, four, five, seven in leg three. And then we're going with the single in leg 10 with the $32 investment to the pick four. Hopefully we go ahead and get us a big number. And we got uh, Espinosa riding for us on the le on the nightcap with James Cassidy. They always make a great pair. So I feel good about that one. But yeah, man, we will be back tomorrow. I may start the show a little early, maybe about 8.30, maybe 8 o'clock, 8.15, because we have early college games tomorrow. But I have to see the importance of those games as well, too, because we all know that some of them games is just like, man, I ain't going to be paying attention to that no way you know what i mean just because some of these matchups they just they look like practice games you know what i mean some of them but last night we swept out though you know we swept out last night we got the plus 20 on central arkansas they lost by 10 and so bama won outright and we got the under 54 and we got it barely we got it by one point one point yesterday so that just goes to show you how close that one was but it's all good because we still took care of our business right so with that i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in once again you guys if you need a book this weekend go check out mybookie.ag go ahead and put in the promo code pop you guys will receive up to a thousand dollars in a deposit bonus once again you have to put down the deposit go to mybookie.ag go ahead and put in the promo code 
pop and you guys will receive up to a thousand dollars in a deposit bonus all right so this show has been brought to you by prime wave media group and we got the new logo on the way as well too but i still love my little og logo my little b a dad the beach logo so it'll still be around for certain things probably just still in this show as well too so pretty much this show is produced and brought to you by prime wave media group I am your host, the one and only Pop DiBiase, the primetime capper, and this is the premier sports betting show, the primetime angles, live on IG. You guys go ahead and follow on the YouTube, Prime Wave Media. Also, you guys can follow me on the Twitter, at Pop DiBiase, and that's spelled like Ted DiBiase, okay? Pop, P-O-P-D-I-B-I-A-S-E. Then you guys can follow me here at this same IG name, and if you want to become an uh, exclusive client, you guys go ahead and follow PTSI on IG and DM me there and we'll go ahead and try to get you moved forward. Or you guys can hit me up on the Twitter at PopDBIC and get you guys a part of the primetime sports investors uh, and get you guys building that bankroll and, you know, how you feeling good, feeling great every day. So it is what it is, man. Um, pretty much with that, I want to thank you guys so much. It's been another great week. We keep just getting better by the day and i can't do this without you guys. Much love, much uh, appreciation. You guys have a great weekend. We'll be back tomorrow early. Make sure you tune in again. This is the Premier Sports Betting Show, and I am gone.